Today we're reviewing the 2009 film Dragon Ball Evolution, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Dragon Ball Evolution is a 2009 film loosely based on the Dragon Ball manga created by Akira Toriyama and stars Justin Chatwin as Goku, Chao Yun Fat as Master Roshi, Emmy Rosam as Bulma, Jimmy Chung as Chi Chi, and James Marsters as Lord Piccolo. Opening weekend in the United States grossed the film at $4,756,488, ranking in at number 8 at the box office. Rotten Tomatoes scored the film at 14% based on 58 reviews. Metacritic gave it a rating of 45 based on 10 reviews. Many fans often write off Dragon Ball Evolution because it doesn't follow the series. Originally, Akira Toriyama suggested that fans should treat it as an alternate universe version of his work, which is exactly how I went into the film thinking of it. Fans are always so quick to point out how unlike the original work a movie is. But why exactly would anyone pay to see something that's exactly like something that they've already seen or read? As long as the heart of the story is still there, that's really all that matters. Was it a perfect interpretation of the original story and series? No, of course not. But was it an original take? The heart of the story was there, as was the spirit. Personally, I really enjoyed the film. As a casual fan of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, I didn't go into it knowing all of the lore and expecting the perfect adaptation. Rather, I went into the film with fresh eyes. I feel the film shared the right type of humor as the material it was based on. I really enjoyed Justin Chatwin's portrayal of Goku. I feel the scene that really brings Goku to life was when he was forced to take on Fuller and his cronies at Chi Chi's party. I've always really enjoyed that scene. The over-the-top acting was a perfect interpretation of the source material. Not just with Goku, but also the supporting characters as well. The only thing that producers of the film could have gotten better when it came to Goku, I would say would be his hair. His hair should really be a lot bigger. Chao Yun Fat was perfect as Master Roshi characteristically. I really enjoyed his introduction for himself. It truly felt like it was pulled straight from the anime. The only change I would have made is that Roshi is known as a bald man with a full beard. The scene where Roshi makes Goku carry all his luggage while Bulma and he ride in the cycle is very reminiscent of the anime. I mean, that scene just looks like it was pulled straight from the comics, pulled straight from the screen in the anime. It was a nice interpretation. June Park's interpretation of Yamcha was spot on. Aside from his appearance, as in costume design and hair, he was perfectly cast. I really enjoyed his scenes. Honestly, the only downfall for the film was James Marster's Piccolo. It was far too dark and not very true to the source material. But as I said before, that's okay. He made it his own. I didn't care for his interpretation, but it didn't ruin the film. The film wasn't really about Piccolo anyway. He may have been an antagonist, but he wasn't the focus. The focus was exactly where it should have been, and that's on Goku and his supporting cast. I do really wish they could have included Krillin into the movie. Though. It would have given Goku another antagonist, but a more friendly one, like a brother. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie. When it first hit DVD, I watched it over and over. It was a pretty original interpretation of a very beloved franchise. Personally, I feel that if you want to enjoy the film, you have to watch it as a casual fan. Don't be so hardcore about everything, because that just makes you a fanboy or a fangirl. Learn to enjoy a film without expectations that it's going to be exactly like the source material. As an action film, I give it a 7 out of 10. As a comedy, I give it a 5 out of 10. As an anime and manga adaptation, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I give the story and scripting an 8 out of 10, and the acting a 9 out of 10. For an overall film rating of 7.5 out of 10 stars, if you've seen the movie but didn't like it because it didn't match up with the source material, give it another watch with an open mind as a casual fan. If you watched it as a film geek or someone who was looking forward to a really good action movie but didn't understand the manga style humor, say watch a few episodes of the anime and give it another chance. If you haven't seen it because of the ratings it received, give it a chance, you may like it. Did the characters look like the originals? No, not really but the spirit and heart were there. Final battle between Goku and Piccolo was a little bit anticlimactic, but given that the story and the character portrayals were spot on, I can accept that. Special effects weren't amazing, but they were good for the time. Does a film like Dragon Ball Evolution hold up over time? Well, I just watched it for the first time in eight years while typing this review, 
and overall I'd say yes. I personally really enjoyed it. I kind of wish they would have done a sequel for it. So there you have it guys, my review on Dragon Ball Evolution. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and friends. I'm Shannon for Comigan TV. Take care.